Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. In today's Know Before You Grow video, we're talking phosphorus and pre-flower and why it's so important for your plant. Before we get into today's video, folks, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Also, down in the comment section below, stop by and say hi, ask a question, and let me know about your grow down there as well. All right, folks, so today I'm going to talk about phosphorus and preflower. It was kind of brought to my attention that I kind of zoomed past the preflower phase. I really just talked about phosphorus for a hot second and then I kind of went on, but I didn't explain why it's so important. And rightfully so, I went back, looked at the video, and I really didn't talk about uh, phosphorus enough, I think. So today I'm going to focus directly on phosphorus, why it is so important for preflower. So let's back up to flower, right? So we're in our grow and we've decided, okay, this is when I'm gonna change my light from 18.6, 24, however you guys have it, to 12.12. That's how you get flowering plants. You gotta go 12.12. That moment that you switch those lights is the moment I consider pre-flower in the indoor grow. Outside, that's variable, you know, with sunrise and sunset. But when it comes to indoor grow, you make the call. Once you switch those lights 12-12, that's the beginning of pre-flower. You are setting the stage for a flowering plant. It's that moment that you need to start feeding your plant phosphorus because what you're going to be doing is promoting flowering. That's what phosphorus does for these plants. And it's very, very important to give that plant the phosphorus it needs during that switch because it's going to be getting ready for flower. If you want a good result, you're going to want to have phosphorus available for that plant. Now, there's probably some phosphorus already in the soil from, you know, whatever nutrients we were using before, but you really want to boost it up. Uh, so that lotus mix that we have has very high concentration of phosphorus. And these two to three weeks of pre-flower, however you want to call it, you know, whatever you want to call it, uh, when you start and end pre-flower, everybody kind of has a different uh, time frame of when it actually starts and when it actually ends. Some people don't even recognize pre-flower. I do. Um, it's that moment that you want to do it. And after that, that's it. So maybe one feeding, two feedings max. That's really it. Phosphorus only hangs around for a little while. And then we're going to be switching to potassium, which will be a whole nother video. But potassium is going to provide a nicer product, final flower, gives it that last bit of boost that it really needs. Uh, but really to set the stage, you have to start with phosphorus, get those uh, flowering plants flowering, get the bud spots going. That's what you want. So before we jump into the last thing about phosphorus, here's a word from today's video sponsor, Mars Hydro. I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Mars Hydro. They keep the lights on for us here on the farm and for this indoor grow series. Check out our friends at MarsHydro.com, link in the description of the video. Are you guys looking for a new light or maybe you're just starting out? Check out Mars Hydro. They have everything you need from the FCE 3000 to the Advanced Grower FC 6500 light. If you guys are looking for a tent of any and all size, they have them. They also carry inline fans and heat mats for smell control, for cool areas, and of course, ventilation. Check out our friends at Mars Hydro. Link in the description of the video, marshydro.com. Check them out. And again, a big thank you to our friends at Mars Hydro. All right, so again, thanks to Mars Hydro for sponsoring this indoor grow. I do appreciate it. So let's talk about the last thing about phosphorus before I let you guys go on this. Phosphorus is a really awesome nutrient, but it doesn't show up only but for two weeks. The reason being is because the plant isn't flowering. So like, for instance, if you're growing a tomato plant, those things are flowering constantly. Once they become mature, they're gonna be flowering and producing tomatoes. When it comes to this plant, it's not important up until you start that pre-flower. So it's really vital that you know that before you make the switch on your lights that you have that available for the plant. Because if you don't, you're, you're already setting the stage for a bad harvest. You can make up ground, but it's not as easy as just having it there for the plant. So with that being said, folks, if you guys have questions about the pre-flower and phosphorus, I do appreciate all your feedback in the comments section below. This video was brought to you by a viewer who said, hey, you need to step it up on the phosphorus because uh, I don't think you sent enough information. 
I heard that as well about the nitrogen one and uh, you know it's just tough to make a long winded video it doesn't get as many views and I think trying to make it short and sweet and to the point is the best way but thank you for the viewer who pointed that out we did our best and I did I did my best to uh, give you guys the information I could about phosphorus I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys want to support the farm our links down there as long as Mars Hydro and any discount codes that are available to our viewers but that's it for today folks I hope you all stay happy healthy and I will see you in another video take care